everybody and welcome back to my channel super excited for today because I'm going to get my hair done I'm gonna get colored and cut and I'm just so excited for some fresh hair and a change it's gonna go a bit darker and cut off a couple inches probably like just like one inch <laughs> but I'm very excited to just have my hair freshly done there's like it's just the best feeling you just feel super put together and great um, but my outfit today is super cute really simple but cute let me show you so i'm just wearing this little cute collared tank top it's by babaton at aritzia it's one of their like um the i don't know what you call it like the bodycon seamless collection it's really nice you don't have to wear a bra or anything it just holds you all in and it's super soft and comfortable and then for these jeans i just got these off of revolve I've been trying to get really nice fitting denim just for the fall and winter and I'm in love with these. They are the Levi Dad jeans in the color Charlie Boy. I will link them down below. I got a size 24 which is my regular size and I'm really happy I got these ones. They are a bit big like on the waist but I don't mind because they're super nicely fitting on my butt and they're not too tight in like this area. Like they're really comfortable which is what I wanted. I'd rather it be a bit loose in the waist and be comfy than too tight because there's nothing worse than jeans that are just too tight and uncomfortable. I also love that they're kind of like a mid-rise fit so they fit right at the belly button not above it or what have you which I love. The length is actually pretty good for me considering I'm only five foot like two and a half. I'm almost five foot three. These are little platform sandals though but it fits really nice. Like I do not need to hem these which is great for me and they're just super comfortable so that's my outfit. Just comfy and chill. I'm bringing a tote bag because I have so much stuff because I'm going to be at the hairdressers for a while. So I have a snack, I have my Kindle to read, my iPad if I have to do any emails and work. Everything I need is in here. Lip product, keys, maybe tripod in case I want to take a picture of my hair afterwards. All the stuff. All the stuff is in here. And I need to remember my good old water bottle as well. Hydro flask. A way of life, okay? This is my comfort water bottle and I love it. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna head out basically now and I'll keep you guys updated on my hair as we go along today. There are people, yeah, apparently. I'm like, All right guys, I'm back. Here is my hair. So I am officially brunette again and I'm here for it because I feel like myself with brown hair. I love this color. It's perfect for going into the fall. Literally obsessed. I just made myself the most random lunch of all time. It's literally leftover rice, a can of tuna, tomatoes, lettuce, and sriracha. <laughs> don't ask, I don't really know what's going on there. And I'm currently like uploading my vlog for today because I didn't have time this morning to get it up. So I'm getting it up now. But I'm literally obsessed with my hair. So I go to Thick Hair Co and I see Sabrina for the color and Alyssa for the cut. And literally I'm never disappointed. It looks so freaking good. The cut's perfect, I got like almost two inches off I believe so it's like definitely a bit shorter it was like down to here before so I cut off like this much a bunch of layers face framing pieces it's just so pretty and the color is so nice like it still has all that dimension in it with the lighter pieces but it's definitely brunette again which I love and I'm just really happy with this color so happy I actually have an event at Thick Hair Co, Thick Hair Co later tonight that I need to go to as well which I believe is at like seven so I'm gonna go to that too, but right now I'm just getting my video uploaded and having my little lunch break with my most random lunch ever because I'm literally starving. I hadn't eaten since breakfast. It was not ideal, okay? So I'm gonna get my hair done. I'm there for hours and then I'm starving, <laughs> but it's okay because we're eating now. So all is right in the world, all is right. <laughs>
everybody. Oof, let me sit down and adjust my camera because I never have it at the right height. Good morning! Happy Thursday. I didn't know what day it was. I stayed at Ames house last night, which is why I went MIA. And now I'm back at mine. I've been back for a little bit. I had breakfast and I've just been looking at some stuff on my iPad, but I'm about to just do some planning, journaling, etc. in my little journal here because I really want to start a new little like challenge for the next 30 days. I'm going to make it a 30 day challenge, 30 day challenge. Because I think I spelled challenge wrong. <laughs> I just thought about it too much. I think I spaced out. Um, because I want to just start like incorporating some really good habits again into my day. So I'm gonna write down the habits that I wanna do and then I'm gonna share them with you all. Actually, I'll just talk you guys through it right now. So habit number one that I wanna do is I wanna drink a glass of water before I have breakfast or coffee in the morning, just to make sure I'm getting in that water of water before coffee. So that's number one that I want to do for 30 days. Number two, I want to drink a greens drink because I feel like I don't get enough vegetables in. <laughs> Honestly, drink a greens drink every day. I have two that I love. I have the athletic greens and I also have one by Beam, which is another like greens powder drink. So I have two different ones I can switch between and I want to do that every day. Number three, I want to move my body for an hour, for one hour every day, which could be a workout, it could be going for like a really long walk, it could be any of those, but I want to make sure that I'm moving for at least one hour of every day exercise kind of thing. You know, I want to be getting my exercise in. Um, by move, I do mean exercise because I move a lot, so put in the exercise so I don't get confused myself. Um, number four, what should number four be? I want to read, that's for sure. So I'm gonna read 20 pages a day. I feel like that's pretty good, I read a lot anyways. So 20 pages a day. And then number five, I wanna have no phone for the first hour of the day in the last hour of the day, no phone. Number six is that I just wanna try and journal how I'm feeling during this process. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to include in that. I mean, obviously eat healthy, but I feel like I do that anyways. I don't really have an issue with my diet, to be honest. I'm quite happy with how I eat. I feel like I eat very balanced. I eat food I love, but I also eat healthy and I don't restrict. And I'm just very happy with my relationship with food, so I don't really wanna like, put it on myself like I need to eat only healthy for 30 days because it's like I don't know I don't like to obsess about it so we're not gonna add that one in because I'm quite happy with my diet I thought of another one okay wake up before 7 a.m. every day or wake up at 7 a.m. every day and then number eight can be I don't know <laughs> I'm not leaving it at 7 though it just feels wrong it feels wrong just being seven. So we need to have eight, because I'm just not doing seven. I refuse. Every day I'm going to, I'm just gonna stay organized by using my planner, because I need to make sure that I'm starting using that every day. Okay, that's my 30 day challenge. There we go. So we have it all written out here. Ta-da. Step number one, drink a glass of water before coffee every morning. Number two, drink a greens drink every day, because we need to get more greens in. Number three, move, exercise, one hour every day. Number four, read 20 pages a day. Easy. That's like a gift, I love that one. Number five, no phone for the first hour of the day and the last hour of the day. So basically no phone right when you get up and no phone before you go to bed. Honestly, I feel like that's a great thing to incorporate into your life. Number six, journal how I feel every day. So just write down how I'm feeling, even if it's just one word, like good. I did something, you know, write it down. Number seven, wake up before 7 a.m. 
love that. I love being an early riser. I love getting up early. Um, that can be any amount of time for you. You can be like get up before eight, get up before nine, depending on how long you normally sleep, et cetera, et cetera. But I love getting up early, so that one will be great. And number eight, stay organized, use my planner. Because I forget sometimes, and I really need to be back on using the planner life because it is beneficial, it really is. So use the planner. And I feel like that's it. That's my 30 day challenge. I think I, I spelled challenge wrong, so don't look at that. Don't look at that. But yeah, I'm gonna put that into my, what do you call it? To-do list, habit thing. So I can just have it and check it off. I feel like that's what the app is called, something like that. Reminders, is it reminders? I honestly don't know. <laughs> okay, it's definitely reminders. I just gotta add them in. Okay, we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna head to the gym. All this time. I've been feeling hopeless till you came around, came around All this time You're the only reason I'm not chasing highs, chasing highs What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love, what is love event so I need to do my hair which honestly I should get out of this so it doesn't get kinked um I need to do my hair makeup I have my outfit picked out already so it's just basically like the actual getting ready portion I still have to do and then we'll be ready to hit the road I'm really excited my friend Aurora is going too so it'll just be nice it's gonna be a fun event and I'm really excited I've also never been to Creemore I don't even know where that is, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, it's like Northwest, I think. So we'll find out, but it should be fun. And I'm excited to put on a cute outfit and look really cute and head out on the town. You know, I'm excited about Head out of the city. See you, Toronto. Creamore, here I come. <laughs> getting ready for the Kerastase event. So I thought I would show you my outfit. Oh my God, everything's falling over. <laughs> so I thought I would show you my outfit. I have to back up. But I'm just wearing this really cute linen dress from Zara. I love this one, it's really light, it's super hot out. So this will be perfect because it's like light and airy and linen. So it'll keep me cool. And then I'm just wearing these like little sandals that are from Zara as well. We all Zara. <laughs> And then I'm just wearing this bag because it fits a lot of stuff in it. And it's actually kind of like a far drive. So I'm bringing my Kindle so I can read. I'm currently reading um, the Mind F-U-C-K series, book number one. So good. On chapter nine. It's like about a female serial killer who starts sparking up a romance with a FBI agent. And um, 
I'm here for it. I'm here for it. It's pretty freaking good. Makeup is just like this. I'm wearing the Rare Beauty lipstick in the color Wise. And the rest of it is just like what everything that I normally do. Apparently it's really humid out, so it might be melting. Probably should put hairspray in, but I hate putting hairspray in my hair, so. I don't know, I probably should though so that it stays, but ugh. But yeah, very excited, heading out really soon, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and it should be super fun. Lavender Farm, and they set up the prettiest high tea. Look at this, it's insane. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just, I'm just in awe. I took like eight billion pictures and many videos already, and now we're gonna have high tea soon and sit down. And this is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> gonna cry. <laughs> but guys, look at the lavender fields. Yeah, it's Also, everyone's just looking on point right now. We got some great outfits going on. <laughs> and this is just the cutest thing. Literally obsessed. Look at this. Everything is so pretty. Do I have blisters on my feet? Yes, but I feel nothing because everything is so pretty. I'm ignoring my, my pain. <laughs> Amazing event in the fields. And I'm here today with two of my favorite co workers, Tara and Carlana. Carlana is our online business manager and she works on Kara Stars as well. And Tara is our e uh, education and business consultant. So she's been amazing and she takes care of Toronto. Um, and I'll leave this spotlight to them. <laughs> All right, amazing. So hi everyone. Thanks again for coming. We're super excited to have you, especially since it's sunny. I think we're all feeling great about that. So. <laughs> yeah, we, we were honestly praying so hard <laughs> for driving here today because to have to be inside and not enjoy this kind of atmosphere would have been a shame. But we're all right, we just finished the little info tea. Learn all about the Blonde Absolute brand. I'm actually happy because you can actually use it if you're a brunette. Like I thought at first it was just for blondes, but it's not. I can use it, so I'm very excited about that. And now we're just making our way over because we're gonna take some more pictures in the field. Here with Linda. <laughs> and we got gifted the prettiest earrings. Look at these. Okay, they're giving rich mom energy, which I'm here for. <laughs> rich mom energy. I die. And yeah, we're gonna take some pictures because the lighting is ideal. I am back home. I'm in bed. I had so much fun at that event. It was so nice to see like a bunch of my friends and make some new friends. And I just love, I love events. They're so fun. <laughs> I miss them so much. But yeah, I'm just really cozy right now. I finished the first book in the Mind F-U-C-K series and I'm on to book number two right now on my handy dandy, handy dandy. Handy dandy. <laughs> A handy dandy Kindle and I'm here for it right now it's really good it's like criminal minds mixed with romance and spice it's like the coolest mix ever <laughs> and I'm loving every second of it so I'm going to continue reading and then go to bed but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you're new and I will see you all in my next video bye <laughs> Oh,